Hey everybody, this is Jeff Killen at Team with uh, St. Cole City Bomb Squad. And I'm playing Europa Universalis 3 of Spain for the uh, Let's Play Europa Universalis 3 series. Um, as you can see, this is my Spain right here. Also, I have all of this here. Mm, basically all of Central America and the northern parts of South America and a lot of the Caribbean. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay then. Alright, anyway. Um, yeah. Um, I'm allied with France here, and about every five years on the dot, every time the truth gives out, uh, Burgundy declares war on us, and for some reason, the combined force of France and I cannot even hold back Burgundy. It's really quite... I, I don't really know how to describe it. And of course, here we go, we have our called arms to fight Burgundy once again, every five years. So we're going to accept it, and France is going to lose even more territory, because we're probably not going to win as usual. It's very depressing, you know, stuff happens. Anyway, I guess we'll just move in our armies. And hope maybe that something turns out a little bit better than it normally does. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> we got some French and Burgundian naval action up there. Alright. Let's move this navy in and blockade their major ports, most of which sit on this area right here, the coast of Holland. We can blockade those. I think we should be pretty successful in starving them with some of their key key um, resource is I guess I don't I don't I don't even know what I'm fucking saying anyway yeah basically oh I suppose we'll send more let's reroute these people thing is obviously some people are getting there a little early and others aren't moving fast at all. Whatever. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's already not looking very good. I mean, it takes me so long to get my army in, and France is just losing strength every time we end up at war. It's never good. It's just it's not. It really isn't. It's very bad, actually. It's it's always pretty bad. I mean, we got a good we got a good struggle going on. Oh, you piece of garbage! There we go. I mean, look at this. We got a decent struggle. If those are those reinforcements go, we should be able to at least turn this battle. That's 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 the good news right there. There we go. That's never good news when you have more force coming. That is going to be just be a that is going to be a battle of the century right there. All right, there we go. Way to shut down their forces. Where are they retreating to? Nevers. We're gonna follow them back. And we're gonna challenge that army to move. Oh god, a showdown of forces at Nevers seems to be boiling up. This is never good. If my army doesn't get there soon, we'll be completely routed. Oh. Fuck. Well, that's... Fuck my anus. That's not good at all. <sighs> now we're gonna have to spend time rebuilding my entire army. That's... That's freaking glorious. That's great. I mean, we just play this fucking game with them here. It's stupid. Their armies are moving around so much. France has nothing. I don't know what to do. I kind of want... I don't want to give war subsidies, though, so let's offer them a loan. I've never actually done this before. I'm not really sure. I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, France, I'm willing to give you, like, a 24-month a, a, a loan. That is a two-year loan. Uh, basically, 800 ducats. Uh, no, we're gonna go with 12%. No, it isn't possible. I didn't notice that. Um, 
Yeah, obviously, no one likes loans in this game. I don't even know why they even put that in this game. I've never used that. H how do you even use that? If anybody knows how you use the whole offer loan thing, please, please tell me. I'd really love to know, because I've never used it. Not sure what the usability of that is. It's there just, I don't think there really is one. I is it even usable? Like, I mean, I guess it's usable, but like, why, like, why even have that in the game? I don't understand, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Alright, well, we're rebuilding our force here. It's always nice to rebuild your force. We'll just all meet up at Madrid. Wow, that's massive. Alright, anyway. I mean, we just lost a pretty, uh, big battle right there, so that's not, that's never good. It's just not good. That's really not good. I prefer to not have to make 30, another 30,000. Yep. Oh my god. They're just destroying us. They're just dumping on us. Like, what are we even supposed to do here? You see what I mean, though? They just, like, I don't know how they do it. Like, I you know I'm not fighting with, like, my full force, because, like, I'm so spread out around the globe. I guess we would probably pull those 10,000 men up there from Africa. They're kind of needed elsewhere. <laughs> I mean, I could, but, you know, whatever. I mean, I just lost 60,000 men, and this war might be the most pointless war anyone's ever thought fought. I mean... What is this? What is this? What the hell is this? Get off my African t territory. Didn't even notice that. It's probably not going to end well. Anyway, so. Yeah, exactly. I mean, is this necessary at all? Why am I always the head of every war? That's what I don't understand either. I mean, I guess... Oh, Burgundy, come on now. I will offer you the fact of that I will concede defeat. They would accept this offer. Mm, nah, see, I think we should maybe we should just go a little bit more. I don't know. I feel like the war needs to carry out a little more before we make such a hasty peace, you know. I'm not one for hasty pieces. I have to build this whole army again. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and of course, ten. <laughs> One. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and Barcelona. There we go, another 30,000 men being built. As this army is probably going to get shattered, too. Send her back in. Alright, Burgundy. We need to have a chat. You know what else is really interesting, and I feel like this deserves, like, at least an honorable mention? Austria? Um, yeah. I'm not sure how that happens. Austria's like the Golden Horde right now, except better. I mean, have you, I don't think I've ever seen something that just gigantic. Like, how does Austria become that big? I mean, really, though. 
Alright, fish it is. Whatever. Alright, anyway, we zoom back down here. I mean, let's check on my, uh... Surprise, my war exhaustion's not higher than that after losing all those men. <laughs> I mean... It's interesting. Burgundy wants peace. I don't think I'm going to release that much to you. I will fight until Judgment Day. I mean, I always have the option of just letting France get wrecked, falling back into the pre-knees, and sitting there like a boss, just holding off hordes upon hordes of enemy. I just, it's always an option, you know. Well, that's not ideal. <laughs> As you can see, this just is not, this just isn't going well. I don't understand. I've never known that Burgundy could be this powerful. I was there. Let's go take a look at our colonies. Hmm. Very nice colonies. Cuba. Hmm. We produce cotton and sugar and coffee. I feel like the Bahamas would be nice to take just so the British can't have them. Screw you, British. The British, also another problem. Although I don't go to war with them as often, and they don't declare war in France as often as you'd think. They are a problem because they're kind of getting in my way, as you can see, so. And right there. Yeah, that's, that's getting in the way. Oh, there goes another 10,000 men to Burgundy. Alright, alright. We're going to need to put an end to this right now. We're just gonna need to. We're gonna need to call this here out. I mean, I don't really know what to do anymore. <laughs> it's just, it's not, it's not feasible right now to fight this war. All right, Burgundy. I mean, what kind of war score you got? I mean, I'm willing to, I'm willing to concede defeat, even though now you won't accept that. Probably we just should have done that before. I mean, we can always find glory if we just give you part of France, right? Right? Yeah? I mean, right? No? Well, goddamn. Well, goddamn, Burgundy! Well, there, there, there. I, I will even give you cocks, because I don't even care, because we all know that France is just going to get wrecked. I mean, <laughs> what are we going to do here? Yeah, you'll accept that? Alright, France, you're getting partitioned. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're, you're my ally, but... Let's be honest, France. We gotta, we gotta call her a day here and make peace. As you can see, the power of Burgundy unmatched. It's just not right. It just isn't. If anyone has any suggestions on what I should do here... I mean, I know bigger army, whatever... But if there's any suggestions on how to calm that horde right there, that would be really nice. Um, once again, honorable mention, gigantic Austria. Never seen the likes of that. Other than that, this is uh, Chef Killer 19 with St. Cool City Bomb Squad. Please like, subscribe to the videos. Feel free to watch any other videos on our channels. Our channel, thanks.